Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the Compassionate, the Merciful. Surah Al Hijr, Ayah 1. <coughs> Alif Lam Ra. These are the verses of the Divine Book, the glorious Quran which makes the things clear. The day will come when the unbelievers will wish that they were Muslims. Leave them alone to eat and enjoy themselves and be deluded by false hopes. For soon they will find out the truth. Never did we destroy a town whose term of life was not ordained beforehand. No people can forestall their doom, nor can they postpone it. They say, O oh, you to whom the reminder of the Quran is being revealed, you are surely insane. Why don't you bring us the angels if you are of the truthful ones? O Muhammad, tell them, we do not send down the angels except for just cause, to execute our scourge. And when they come, people are not given respite. Surely we have revealed this reminder of the Quran, and we will surely preserve it ourselves. Certainly we send Rasuls before you among the early nations, but whenever a Rasul came to them, they mocked him. Thus do we let doubt creep into the hearts of the criminals, that they do not believe in it, while there has already occurred the precedent of the former people. Even if we had opened a gate in heaven, and they ascend through it and keep on ascending, still they would have said, our eyes have been dazzled, rather we have been bewitched. It is we who have put constellations in the heaven, decked it with stars, and made it fair seeming for the beholders, and we have guarded them from every accursed shaitan. Any shaitan that steals a hearing, therefore follows him a bright flaming fire. We have spread out the earth and set mountains upon it. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Compassionate, the Merciful. Surah An-Nahl, Ayah 1 <clears throat> Allah's commandment has come, so do not seek to hasten it. Glory be to Him, and exalted be He above shirk that they practice. He sends down His angels with inspiration of His command to whom He pleases of His servants, saying, Warn the people that there is no God except Me, therefore fear Me. He has created the heavens and the earth to manifest the truth. Exalted be he about the shirk that they practice. He created man from a drop of semen, yet he is an open contender. He created cattle which provide you with warm clothing, numerous benefits, and some of them you eat. How pleasant they look to you when you bring them home in the evening and drive them to pasture in the morning. They carry your heavy loads to far off towns that you cannot otherwise reach without painful toil. Indeed, your rock is kind and merciful. He has created horses, mules, and donkeys for you to ride and put on show. And He also creates other things which are beyond your knowledge. It is up to Allah to show the right way when there exists some crooked ways. If Allah wanted, He could have guided you all. It is He who sends down water from the sky which provides drinking water for you and brings forth fodder to pasture your cattle. With it, he grows for you crops, olives, date palms, grapes, and every kind of fruit. Surely there is a great sign in this for those who think. He has subjected, your ser he has subjected to your service the night and the day, the sun and the moon. And likewise, the stars also serve you by his command. Surely there are signs in this for people who use their common sense. And he has subjected, subjected whatever he multiplied for you on the earth, of different colors. Surely there is a sign in this for those who want to get reminded. It is He who has subjected the sea to your service, that you may eat fresh meat therefrom, and that you may bring out of it ornaments to wear, and you see that ships plow their course through it. He has done all this so that you may seek His bounty and so that you may pay thanks to Him. He has set mountains on the earth lest it should sway with you, he has also made rivers and roads that you may find your way, and likewise made landmarks and stars for your guidance. 
is then he who has created all this like the one who cannot create? Why don't you get admo admonition? If you want to count the favors of Allah, you will never be able to count them. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful, and Allah knows what you conceal and what you reveal. Those whom they invoke besides Allah have created nothing but are themselves created. They are dead, not living. They do not even know when they will be raised to life again. Your God is one God, Allah. None has the right to be worshipped but He. As for those who do not believe in the hereafter, they have faithless hearts and are puffed up with arrogance. Allah surely knows what they conceal and what they reveal. Certainly, He does not love the arrogant. When they are asked, What is it that your Rabb has revealed? They say, Fictitious stories of the ancients. On the day of resurrection, they will bear their own burden in full, and some of the burden of those whom they misled without knowledge. Alas, evil is the burden which they bear. Those before them also plotted against the truth. But Allah shook their edifice through its foundation and its roof caved in on them and the torment came at them from, from where they did not even suspect. Then on the day of judgment he will humiliate them and say, Where are those deities you associated with me concerning whom you used to dispute with the true believers? Those who have been given knowledge will say, Today there will be shame and sorrow for the unbelievers. Those whom the angels caused to die while they were still engaged in doing injustice to their own souls. At the time of death they offer submission. We were not doing anything wrong. They would be replied, Oh yes, how dare you deny? Certainly Allah is well aware of what you are doing. Now go and enter the gates of hell. There you will abide forever. In fact, very awful will be the abode of the arrogant. On the other hand, when the righteous people are asked, what is it that your Rabb has revealed, they say, that which is best. Good is the reward for such righteous people in this world, and the home of the hereafter will be even better. How splendid will be the home for the righteous. Gardens of eternal abode will they enter, beneath which rivers flow, having therein all that they wish to have. Thus shall Allah reward the righteous. When the angels cause to die such pious people, they greet them. Peace be upon you, enter paradise for the good deeds you used to do. These unbelievers are only waiting for the angels to come down to take their lives, or, for, or the commandment of your Rabb to come to pass for their doom. So did those who went before them. It was not Allah who was unjust to them, but they were unjust to themselves. At the end, the evil results of their deeds overtook them, and the very scourge in which they mocked hemmed them in. The Mushrikeen say, If Allah wanted, neither we nor our forefathers would have worshipped anyone else but Him, nor made anything unlawful without His will. Such excuses were put forward also by those who went before them. Yet Rasuls have no more responsibility than to convey the message clearly. Indeed, we raised in every nation a Rasul saying, Serve Allah and keep away from Tawud, false deities and shaitan. After that, Allah guided some of them while straying proved true for, against the others. So travel through the earth and see what was the end of those who denied our message. No matter how eager you may be for their guidance, you should know that Allah does not guide those whom He let go astray. And such people will have no helpers. They solemnly swear their strongest oaths by Allah. Allah will never raise the dead to life. Why not? It is a promise which He has made binding on Himself, though most among mankind may not know it. It will be fulfilled, so that He may manifest to them the truth about which they differ, and so that the rejecters of truth may know that they were indeed liars. As for its possibility, when we intend to do anything which we want, we need only say be, and it is. For those who migrated for the sake of Allah after persecution, we will certainly provide them a good abode in this life and the reward of the hereafter will be much greater if they but knew what a happy end awaits those who bear ills with patience and put their trust in their Rabb. We have not sent any Rasul before you, O Muhammad, but were men whom we revealed our message. You, O people of Makkah, 
may ask those who have the reminder of the people of the book, if you don't know this fact yourselves. We sent those Rasuls with clear signs and scriptures, and now we have sent down the reminder to you, O Muhammad, so that you may explain clearly to mankind as to what was sent to them so that they may think about it. Do those who plot evil deeds feel secure that Allah will not cave in the earth beneath them or that the scourge will not come to them from directions that they did not suspect or that He may not seize them in the course of their journey leaving no way for their escape or that He may seize them after alerting them about the danger. Yes, your Rabb is kind, merciful. Do they not see how every object that Allah has created casts the shadow right and left prostrating itself to Allah in all humility. To Allah prostrate all the moving creatures of the heavens and the earth, including the angels, and they are not arrogant. They fear their Rabb, who is above them, and they do whatever they are commanded to do. Allah has said, Do not take two or more gods for worship. There exists only one God, Allah. I am the one whom you should fear. To Him belongs all that is to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth, and perpetual sincere devotion is always for him alone. Would you then fear any other than Allah? Whatever blessings you enjoy are from Allah, and when touched by distress, he is the one to whom you cry for help. Yet soon, yet no sooner does he relieve you from the distress, that some of, some of you begin to associate others with him, as if to show their ingratitude for the favors that we bestow on them. Enjoy yourselves. Soon you will come to know the consequences. They set aside a portion of what we have provided them with for those deities about whom they know nothing. By Allah, you shall most certainly be questioned about the lies you fabricate. They ascribe daughters to Allah. Glory be to Him. But for themselves they would like to have what they desire, sons. Whenever the news of a female child is announced to any one of them, his face darkens and he chokes with inward gloom. He hides himself from his people because of the bad news he has heard, asking himself whether he should retain her with disgrace or bury her in the dust. Beware. Evil is the judgment they make, up, make about Allah. To those who do not believe in the hereafter, apply an evil similitude, while to Allah applies the highest attribute, for He is the mighty, the wise. <coughs>